Hey everybody, happy day three of 14 days of mastering midlife health and mindset. And today I am talking about what defines you. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an executive health and mindset coach to help midlifers who are high achieving business owners and entrepreneurs and leaders to achieve self mastery in claiming unstoppable health in life, business and love and to attain more, to have more fulfillment and happiness and joy in your life and, um, and also get to get your health back in terms of weight loss. And I work with clients who have the need to lose up to a hundred pounds of body fat. And how we do this is starting with our mindset because that is the most critical component to all of our successes, no matter what it, what it pertains to in terms of your job, your career or self mastery. And so today I wanted to talk about, you know, what defines you. And um, on Wednesday mornings, I co-host a clubhouse uh, room called The Power of Self-Care and Self-Love. And um, it's truly a gift to be on there uh, every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. East with my co-host, Jackie Castro Cooper, who is a holistic physical therapist from Mississippi. And we connect with people all over the world coming in and sharing kind of where they are at in their journey with their health and mindset and um, inspiration as well as support and really um, and, and, and to be heard, right? So we all want to be heard. We all want to be acknowledged. Um, and we all want to um, feel like we have purpose. And so I know that, um, so in that discussion this morning, we talked about um, how burnout, how do you deal with burnout in business as, you know, working as directors in your 40s and 50s, you're at the peak of your career and you're performing and you are an expert in your field and, um, and uh, or an expert as a business owner. And how do you master um, burnout? Because oftentimes when you're solopreneurs or even um, when you run your own business, you could be thinking about your business 24 seven. You could be thinking about it before you go to sleep. You think about it the minute you wake up and how do you master really creating um, and preventing burnout? Because that can easily happen for business owners. And so today I wanted to bring up the idea of what defines you and um, you know, often people feel like their definition of who they are are based on degrees, based on skill sets and strengths. You know, the 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 way the corporate world, um, the business world, the conventional business world really defines you in terms of you know your ability to lead teams or your ability to. Um, manage critical problem solving on a day-to-day -day basis. You also, a lot of people define themselves in terms of their roles in their families, whether you be parents, a mother, a father, uh, a son or a daughter. That's also a part of what defines a lot of people. And um, also roles in business in terms of your um, your positions in the companies that you work for um, or, you know, basically what is expected of you in terms of performance. And another way people define themselves is through accumulation of wealth and assets. So if you own a home, own a second home, you know, have a certain kind of car and so forth, these assets and wealth accumulation becomes a definition of who you are. And, um, and all of these roles basically play into like, uh, this belief system that you have about yourself. And 
this belief system of who you're supposed to be and how you're supposed to perform and behave on a daily basis. And you know what? That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure in midlife with all the other aspects of life's challenges that you have on your plate. Having those expectations are um, pretty, pretty daunting. And so I completely understand, um, you know, throughout my entire career, you know, I climbed the corporate ladder in my earlier days of working in, in business and in companies and as an entrepreneur, what it meant for me and working 24 hours around the clock and, um, you know, getting to burnout really like getting to exhaustion and, um, you know that when you're at a point of exhaustion, it's difficult to give. It's difficult to have an expansive mind. Um, so, so I'm going to talk about that on a later live in terms of expansiveness and getting your crossing that brain barrier between critical problem solving into um, creating ideas um, about yourself as well as the experience around you. But today, it's about really what defines you. What defines you? All of these roles that we've kind of established for ourselves throughout our um, early career days and um, in up until midlife, um, um, sometimes we can't get out of that lane of those de de definitions. Um, we can't actually expand the thought of well, you know, my credentials and my skills, I'm an expert in this and my accumulation of wealth and here I am in life, this is what I'm about, you know, this is what I do, this is what I have. And it is so critical to have, um, to really have a health turnaround and to really master wellness in your midlife, to really start with self-inquiry, start with self-inquiry of asking yourself, what defines me? What is it? What is my greater purpose in life? And um, it, your greater purpose isn't just to be a parent, isn't just to be a leader in business, is it, it isn't just to run your business. That's not a greater purpose. That's your everyday critical problem solving skills that, that are on the table um, and that you, you, you are dealing with on a daily basis. But what defines you is really about resonance. It's really about your intuitive compass, about um, how you, what kind of place you want to have in this world. What do you want to leave this world with? What kind of gifts and what amazing energy you can give and service to others as well as to yourself. And um, I know clients who have up to 100 pounds of body weight to lose. And those definitions, those definitions um, haunt you and basically really create a lot of pressure and self-loathing and um, raises the question of self-worth and viability, especially in midlife after you've accomplished so much. And so I want you to think about what defines you today? You know, what are all those things? Write it down in your journal. What are all those things? What you think um, defines you? Maybe it is those credentials. Maybe it is your role in your family or your accumulation of wealth or success and assets. Um, but is there more than that? Is there more than that? And when we can cross that barrier of um, getting out of our lane of um, those hard definitions that we've built up around us throughout our entire life, um, when we can actually be in an expansive role, we start coming up with ideas or thoughts or dialogue, inner dialogue of what more is possible. So clients who have to um, really feel shameful about their bodies or lack confidence or, or just feel stressed about kind of where they are in their health journey in midlife, 
um, and frustrated maybe, maybe it's not even extreme in terms of medical care or, you know, metabolic conditions. Maybe you, you just are on the fringe of being concerned, like what the next 20 years of your life could look like. And so I really encourage you to jot it down, jot all your definitions down in terms of who you think you are and what defines you, what defines you, what makes you, you, you know, and what are those beautiful, juicy moments that you come alive? What are those juicy moments where you have been at your brilliance? And maybe it's not about that point of um, accomplishment, but it, maybe it's those simple moments of um, how you experience your relationship, how you experience time with your children, and what made you special then. And so in midlife, we forget. We so forget. And what midlife crisis is about is basically we, we kind of want to like unlock the shields of of all these expectations and all these defining um, lanes that we've created for ourselves. And, um, you know, it's a great opportunity to take a step back and say, all right, what is it that, what's my magic? What's my superpower? What, tr what truly it is. And it's not about skill sets. It's not about like, critical problem solving that, you know, the conventional world expects you to have, but it's about deep inside. What is your inner compass saying? What is, what is it that you want to leave this world with? I often think um, to myself, um, you know, I kind of, I don't know if this is weird, but I, I actually envision uh, my funeral. I envision my funeral someday and say, okay, what, what do I want to leave this world with? What do, how do I want people to experience me in the life that I have right now so they will remember? What, what did they take away with that? What did they take away with their experience with me? What was, what was that magic that I brought to the table? And every single person has magic. Every single person has something to offer and um, some kind of beauty, some kind of gift. And that gift is sometimes intangible. That gift is experiential. That gift can be um, energy. So, um, so what defines you? And if what is defining you is choking you out, if what is defining you right now is creating burnout or is creating anxiety, basically what, what can you do to actually kind of transition those thoughts on a daily day-to-day -day basis in terms of really envisioning your next chapter in a more powerful way and envisioning that new chapter, envisioning that next phase in midlife can actually transform the choices that you make on a daily basis on how you eat, what you eat, how you take care of yourself and how you give. Um, so um, I hope this um, chat was uh, valuable to you if you are joining me live or if you are joining me on the replay give me a comment below let me know what your one takeaway was and how you plan to define yourself what are some things that you can do in terms of you know just just journal it out take a few minutes to jot it down because when we jot things down it's, it's actually it's actually creating a permanent imprint in our subconscious it's, it's creating a, a permanent imprint um, um, into our subconscious. And the more we can write it down, the more we can vocalize these um, in new visions of ourselves. Basically, it, it, be it starts to become a reality. It starts to become a reality. If you're on a day-to-day -day basis actually self-loathing and you're beating yourself up with your dialogue and... Um, feeling frustrated or feeling negative and anxiety, you know, that is energy. That is energy that you're putting out into the universe and to yourself and your brain is listening. And then your brain is actually uh, learning that as a way of being. So, um, so thanks, Sophia. Thank you for listening in. So um, tell me what your one takeaway is. And I hope 
you know, I would love for you to join the, all my trainings in my Make Life Delicious um, group. It's tinyurl.com forward slash Make Life Delicious. I'm doing these 14 day trainings every day. I'm going to come out with you, come out with mindset and health turnaround strategies for you. And it's powerful. So follow, follow along on this journey every single day, 12 p.m. Eastern time. I promise you, you will get some value out of it. You will be able to take this information, actually start impl implementing it in your life. And slowly but surely small milestones um, turn into huge leaps and bounds so i know you're capable of more i know you're capable of fulfillment and joy and peace in your heart especially in in the midst of all this stuff around us but and that's even more the reason that's even more the reason with COVID, lockdowns, and all this time in history that we're in right now, that you need to be more diligent about your thoughts. You need to be more diligent about your health and well-being. It is critical, especially if you're in midlife. So if you need support around that, please DM me. Please uh, message me. You know, Ask me questions write a comment below in this video. So tomorrow I'm gonna to get into mastering your relationship with food and what that means for your stress, anxiety, and what that means for uh, significant and dramatic weight loss results. And you know, that's, how, that's what I'm all about. Um, it, weight loss, I can give you the nutrition mechanics and give you the how to's and what to's Okay, that's that's no problem. That's like easy peasy. Okay, you can get that a million different ways online, um, but the true transformation happens um, with yourself, and that's what I'm all about. And so, please join my community and learn more about me. And I would love to learn more about you and what you're going through because our conversations help me be a better teacher. So thank you so much for joining me today and give me your one takeaway in the comment below and please join my community. We'll see you soon.